it's hit go to here and wait is this set to the right mic i think so okay so uh today i'm going to be showing you how to install utal on a how to set up and install utal and also how to input japanese hiragana on your keyboard now first things first before you do anything you uh if you're on windows 7 you can go straight to control panel if you're on windows 10 you're going to want to type in control go to control panel and then type in oh when it comes up you'll have clock and region click that and go to change date time or number formats click administrative click change system locale and then change it to Japanese now just to note this will not affect anything you have installed as literally it just adds support for Japanese characters in file names uh, alternative you, uh, alternatively you can tick this but I'm not gonna take that risk because I'm not sure if it works just yet but once you've done this you're gonna have, want to restart your computer so we I will be back after that okay <coughs> now that's done I am back next thing you want to do is go to the UTAL website which is utal2008.xrea.jp this is the download site for UTAL click the latest link which is 0.4.18e and you open that and now you can run the executable from the zip file or extract it that's up to you now I highly recommend installing to C and not program files or anywhere else do not install to program files as this would require UTAL administrative privileges to run which causes some issues so leave this one as M I'm not really sure what either of these mean I used to think that was everyone and that was me like for users on the computer but due to last time I installed this using E it caused problems so click next next and let it install and then that's the setting up of the default voice mail that's done and you can open Utal and as you can see everything's fine usually a box comes up saying there's errors just tick don't show and click OK or close and then you can put in notes select all and then you can <coughs> So that's just a demo like demonstration of it working but yeah uh, more tutorials to come if you have any specific tutorial requests for Utal just uh, put it in the comments below thank you for watching goodbye oh okay so I am back again because I forgot to explain this so <coughs> down here you've got ENG which is default keyboard layout uh, for some reason there's three on here it should just be English UK and Japanese but regardless if you hold Windows key and press space it lets you toggle these so when you've got set to Japanese down at the bottom you'll see this A symbol so if you type normally you just get normal normal characters if you click that you can then type in Domaji to get hiragana so if you put uh, Ah, uh, you'll get ah, uh, or hiragana, and this is useful for Utal because if I open Utal, also it will reset every time. So if I set that, eh, no. Uh, also for Utal, <coughs> you'll most likely want to uh, click that so that you can see the envelopes of the notes and the pitch curves. And then you can... Okay, so this is default into mode 1. If you click mode 2, you can then 
click pitch and see the default pitch menu which is a lot better because it allows you to use pitch points as an example another thing people seem to do this is obviously more for like another tutorial another day but it doesn't hurt to just but yeah and that allows you to use Japanese voice banks in addition you may want to consider going to options path and changing your voice root directory however if you choose to leave it as the default you can right click boot out open file location and the voice folder here is where it default stores voice banks in addition if you want to install plugins go to tools plugins open plugins folder and put the folders in here or if they're in a zip file you can drag the zip file onto Utau itself hope this tutorial was helpful Goodbye.